What is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video. We are back with another Philadelphia Eagles rebuild, believe it or not, as they made a trade yesterday with the New Orleans Saints involving some draft picks. So I kind of wanted to do a rebuild on both sides. But decided to do the Eagles first because Tyron Matthew is visiting the Saints right now. So I'm going to wait till that becomes official before we do a Saints rebuild if he does end up signing in there. So if you guys enjoy this video, of course, leave a like and subscribe if you're new. But let's go ahead and talk about the trade real quick and, uh, uh, you know, break it down a little bit. Also, boys, I do have a football podcast with three of my friends. We're uploading an episode today. If you're interested in that, link is down in the description below. We talk a lot of football over there. So we greatly appreciate if you go subscribe. But uh, basically, I also have my phone with me so I can have the exact trade correct. Because obviously, you can only trade six assets in a trade total, unfortunately. But basically, uh, to summarize it up, and I try to make the draft picks as best as I could. But honestly, it's just not... It's not accurate as much as possible. So basically, uh, in Madden, we have 1720 and then 212 for the Saints with uh, for pick number 18, which that's actually correct. Uh, but then 82 and then a future first round pick. So it's kind of tough. So I'll tell you the real life trade. So basically, the Saints get number 16, number 19, and 194 in the draft, while the Eagles get number 18, number 101, number 237, and a 2023 first and a 2024 second. So basically, the Eagles pile up future draft picks while you know still having two first round picks in this draft which i think is still really nice so uh we're gonna go ahead and try to send this trade through don't know what matt I, I assume this will be accepted and it is not of course why would it be accepted so i think i have to move this up to be like a little bit of a higher draft pick which i guess is not that big of a deal uh but we have the important picks which is what i wanted to make sure happen and uh they accept it now so we got the trade to go through so basically we have pick number 18 and i think the eagles have pick number 24 as well in the draft if i remember correctly but i think in the simulation we don't have pick number 24 so basically uh yeah i kind of like this trade for both sides though um the saints get some win now or some immediate help with getting two first round picks uh but i would say with the amount of the saints traded uh definitely could have maybe used that trade for like an actual player but instead you're just getting a mid-round pick so a couple mid-round picks which is interesting and we'll see what the saints do with it but now we have some ammunition in the future to potentially maybe go for a bigger star in the future if we wanted to or if we want to you know you know go away from jalen hurts we'll, we'll see how things go so i just simulated the season before and it looks like jalen hurts actually picked up star development throughout the season which is awesome because Honestly, I already think Jalen Hurts should be star development anyway. I don't see why he isn't. So I'm actually happy as star development. We will not be trading Jalen Hurts or getting rid of him throughout the video. So we are back with another Eagles rebuild. We just did a Son Reddick not too long ago, but since they made this trade and I want to wait until Tyron Matthew officially signs potentially with the Saints, uh, which is why I'm not doing a Saints rebuild right now because I don't want to do two days in a row. Uh, but we have free agency and of course you have the new draft picks and uh last time i did an eagles rebuild i straight up just went out and traded for dk metcalf today i'm not going to do that this time i'm actually going to use these picks and draft a wide receiver whether if it's chris olave that falls to me or jameson williams we'll see how that goes but let's go into free agency because there is a couple pieces we could use right now so uh, i believe we did not re-sign anthony harris so i'm going to go ahead and do that real quick because we need a strong safety for the year anyway. So Anthony Harris seems just fine to me. And uh, he's re-signed with the Eagles anyway. Uh, we could get Terrell Edmonds, but I'm just going to go for Anthony Harris. And free safety position, uh, probably going to have to address that in the draft, which will be just fine. So we'll, we'll be fine with that. And then I think other than that, uh, I'm probably just going to go to literally just go to the draft. I mean, I just kind of want to see what we can get in the draft. So I'm going to, we could go get Turner, but I feel like I've been getting him way too much. So I'm not going to do that today. Got Roger Saffold, but I'm not going to go for him. I'm just going to, probably after uh, anthony harris comes back and then of course you could still sign odell beckham landry or something like that that still could happen for the eagles but i just want to go in the draft to see what we can get in the nfl draft so let's just do that let's just go to the nfl draft um and get anthony harris back which is what we want so after that we can kind of look at the team uh, but jalen hurts having start development it's freaking awesome i love that he should already have start development in my opinion anyway because i feel like the man has gotten good it's just a matter of putting it all together now for him and you know they made the playoffs last year Obviously, didn't lead to anything. They were playing the Buccaneers, so you can't expect much. But uh, offensive line, other than maybe right guard, could be better. Wide receiver core, we obviously want to add a wide receiver in this draft. I think it only makes sense to do so. Uh, but I like Devontae Smith. I like Watkins. Pascal is nice as well. But I think, uh, you know, getting another wide receiver opposite of Devontae Smith, who could maybe develop into your number one, I think is definitely uh, something you want to look into. Yeah, because you're white, and then you really don't have a middle. Or you have TJ Edwards, I guess I should say. I didn't even, I kind of just looked over or looked him. Uh, corners, you know, outside of uh, Slay and Maddox could be better, and then free safety, and then a the other linebacker wouldn't hurt. So we're just gonna go ahead and jump into this draft now that Anthony Harris is back with these newfound picks. And again, we have these future picks that we could use to our advantage as well. So we'll see 
uh, what we can kind of get. And uh, hopefully in this next draft, we can strike big. But I want to see if Madden's going to crash on me here, man. I really wish Madden didn't crash because I could technically take my time and like turn autosave off and make the draft order correct with all the free agents too. But if I turn autosave off and then the game crashed, I would obviously be screwed if I went far into rebuild. So that's the unfortunate part. That's what I would do if we knew Madden wouldn't crash all the time, but it does. So you can't, you know, I'd lose my progress every time. So let's just jump into this draft. Uh, like I said, so we have pick number 18. I think the Eagles in real life pick number 24. I might be wrong on that. Definitely let me know if I am. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into pick number 18 and uh, let's see if we can grab. So obviously I think the pick at number 18 is probably wide receiver here. Go free safety. You can go linebacker, but I know the Eagles are really desperate for a wide receiver. So if you have like Chris Olave that fell here, we got to take him. Malik Willis, I don't is gonna. I don't think is gonna go past the top ten. Uh, I mean, I know Madden loves to do that, but I just don't see that happening. Amar Garner is here, so that's another uh, good player we could take here. But Chris Olave out of Ohio State, I don't think the Eagles can pass up on him. If he did fall to you, and he's here, you also have Jamison Williams. Let's go take a look at all the wide receivers because I think with this pick, I do want to take a wide receiver. So uh, we have Chris Olave, John Metchie the third, Dodson, Pickens, Drake London, David Bell, Justin Ross, but. Yeah, I think I got to take Chris Olave out of Ohio State. Bring him into Philadelphia. It's your brand new wide receiver opposite Devontae Smith. You'll have to see that. We'd be really happy about that. So like I said, I think we do. I, I know the Eagles in real life don't have pick number 31. I don't know why we are this low. Jordan Battle went right before we were about to select. That would have been awesome if he fell to us. But regardless, you have Daxon Hill, which actually is kind of a guy we do need. You got Nicobe Dean as well, Jaquan Brisker. Uh, but I kind of like Daxon Hill at free safety because we do need a free safety right now. And he is the scheme fit. I think I am going to take Daxon Hill with this pick. He is going to be a hen development free safety as well. So I'm feeling really good about those two picks. Two hen development players, one on both sides of the ball. And now we go to round two, pick number 20, and kind of see what we can get here. But like I said, the Eagles with those future draft capital could literally do a number of things. They could trade for a player. They could just continue to draft guys to put around, you know, Jalen Hurts. And also there's the backdoor play. And if you really don't like Jalen Hurts and you want to move on from him, which I'm not saying they will, uh, there's an option of doing that. You got Marcus Hooker, which we don't need a free safety anymore. We could also take another wide receiver, but I don't see the point of that. So I kind of like DJ Dale. Just throw him on the D-line because Fletcher Cox won't be here forever. So I think I'm going to go DJ Dale with this selection. And uh, we'll be happy with that, about that depth at the defensive tackle position. And then going to our round three, pick number 18, which I think we have a couple of third rounders now with the trade going through. So uh, yeah, 18 and 20. So let's go ahead and make sure we can get something pretty good here at number 18. So we got David Bell, Ty adam anderson nolan smith okay so adam anderson i know is uh you know star development or hen development i should say so i kind of just tempted to take him so yeah i'm just gonna take the for sure hen development player here in round three pick number 18 and adam anderson we need an outside linebacker anyway so he could develop over there so welcome to the team adam anderson then one more pick here in round three pick number 20 and uh we can go ahead and see what we can get uh here so Howie Roseman, though, doing his thing, though. I will say, good job on the trades you've made. I, I love this trade for the Eagles, and I think it's really nice. Even as a Washington Commanders fan, I, I mean, I'm seeing what the Eagles are doing, and I, I'm i noticing, man, they are building correctly. They're going to have future draft capital to definitely do something one day. So it'll be scary to see, but we'll see what happens. So I think for me, might just take a guard here just to, you know, have com competition on the offensive line. You can also take a tackle and Sean out of UCLA. So I think that's going to be the trade or this the draft pick i'm gonna take sean here and i'm gonna walk out of this draft feeling pretty happy daxon hill and chris olave can't complain too much about that so taking a look at the offense this year we got jalen hurts at quarterback backed up by garner Minshew, boston scott miles sanders Devonte smith zach pascal and of course chris olave coming in you still have jj arcega whiteside i forgot about them and jalen rager as well uh chris olave which i know eagles fans are definitely disappointed by jalen rager's development so far uh obviously you could have had dk the terry mclaurins or whatever you could have had there but uh, Dax and Hill, I want to put over uh, for sure uh, Epps here. So I'm going to uh, play Dax and Hill. Uh, we definitely could have used another corner for sure. Uh, cornerback is kind of thin. And I also want to have Adam Anderson probably play the right outside linebacker over Taylor. So I think that's what we'll do here. We'll move Adam Anderson to right outside. And then I think after that, we'll be uh, we'll be done. So we're going to, or, or I mean, at least with this season, obviously got a little bit more work to do other than that. But I kind of want to see how the season, next season is going to go. See if like anything good happens for us. If we're going to, Make the playoffs or not. I mean, I would assume we definitely can, uh, especially Jalen Hurts being star development now. So I, I'm liking our chances. We'll see what happens. We're going to have to hope Daxon Hill develops. We're going to have to hope Adam Anderson develops. And obviously, you got to hope also that Chris Olave develops in a really good wide receiver, which I assume he will. So 
We're going to go ahead and submit this season, and uh, we're going to see how this Philadelphia Eagles squad does here at the end of season number one. So at the end of the season, we know we didn't win our division, but we don't really know what our division looked like because Madden doesn't want to show me that. But we made the playoffs at 10-7, and 7, so we cannot complain at all. So 10-7 and 7 team for this Eagles uh, season, which is awesome. We love to see that. I would very curious to see what the stats look like as well. And, uh, you know, we'll go from there. But let's go look at the stats. I'm going to assume that one last hurrah is for Jason Kelsey, obviously. But, or even Fletcher Cox, for that matter. Offense was 10th in the NFL. So, Jalen Hurst looks like he is putting together here. And defense was 15th. So, middle of the pack for both sides. Uh, I guess offense a little bit more of higher. You know what I mean? But 39 touchdowns. 12 interceptions. Fantastic year from Jalen Hurst. Would love to him be superstar dev if, they're, if that's possible. But uh, we won't count on that too much. But very good season out of Jalen Hurts. Rushing wise, Sanders again had a good year as well. Finally got some touchdowns under his belt as well. Receiving wise, Chris Olave came in and made that immediate impact. Zach Pascal with a really good year. 16 touchdowns for that man. And then a thousand for Devontae Smith. Chris Olave is start of him. It would have loved to have seen that be superstar, but that's all right. And Devontae Smith and Dallas Goddard with 815 yards, 10 touchdowns. So very good first season for sure. Interception or sacks wise, Hassan Reddick, 13, 13 and a half, 10 and a half, or 10 from Javon Hargrave, six and a half from Cox. Two from Derek Barnett, uh, two from Kazir White, and then one and a half from DJ Edwards, one from Josh Sweat. Half a sack and half a sack. And then interceptions-wise, we had three from Daxon Hill. Did he go up to star development? Yeah, so he's the 76 overall, which is freaking awesome. Darius Slade, two. And then uh, Anthony Edwards, or not Anthony. Adam, why did I say Anthony Edwards? Adam Anderson, who I wanted to check out, is star development, 72 overall. So yeah, looking good. Have no idea why the hell I just said Anthony Edwards. Or I guess I was looking at TJ Edwards and said Anthony Edwards for some reason. But regardless, let's go ahead and jump into this playoff game. We're going up against the Green Bay Packers in Lambeau Field. Now it's showing me the record as we were second in the division. The Washington Commanders were right behind us. But let's go ahead and jump into this game, man. And uh, let's see if we can uh, win our first playoff game in this video. That would be awesome. First, first game, first win. Let's get it. So we're all coming in with a chip on our shoulder because Jason Kelsey's last game could be this one. So we need to go out here and play very nicely for him. One thing I'm not used to seeing, though, and I think we're all not used to seeing for the Packers is their defense is actually the strength of this team. The defense was 89 overall, while the offense is an 80. So... Uh, we'll see how that goes. Aaron Rodgers obviously still the quarterback here, so that doesn't really matter. But we'll kind of see how this goes. So it seems like the Packers have a good defense and obviously probably still get enough an offense to go down and score on the first drive. But we respond with a seven uh, score for us as well. And uh, we give the ball back and we get a stop. Okay. Now we got good field position, put up a field goal up 10 to seven here. And now the Packers are going to tie it up before the half. Okay. We start out with ball, so this would be a great position here to score a touchdown. Not going to happen, though. Packers respond with a field goal, and now we put up a touchdown. It's 13-17. to 17. Another touchdown here would be awesome, but, okay, we got to stop. Get another score. Ah, it's 20. It's 20-17. to 17. I got to come out here and just have some fun real quick. I mean, we were very early in this video, but... 59 seconds left, 20 to 17. This is what I live for here, man. I got freaking Jalen Hurts scrambling quarterback as well. Like, why not come out here and have some fun real quick? So I'm going to take Devontae Smith in the middle. Three timeouts as well. Two touchdowns. Hurts is playing phenomenal. Probably should have used my first timeout, but no, I'm going to go no huddle here. And I'm going to hope this works out. And I'm draining so much time, bro. Uh, I got, wait, I got Goddard, I think. I got Goddard. Oh, nice. Nice break. Okay. I should have thrown it earlier. Would have been really nice. But all we need to do is get in field goal range. But I'm looking for the win, to be honest with you. That's what I want. I mean, I'm always coming out here looking for the W and not really. Pascal's not even covered right now. But I assume the safety will get on him, obviously. So uh, we're not going to count on that happening. But I have uh, Chris Olave here. So we're going to take that. Did he catch it? No, he did not. Damn, that would have been a big catch. But he did not catch that. So now 23 seconds left. Uh, we need a first down for sure. And we also need to get in good field position. So um, I don't like anything here except for B. And that even is sketchy. And that's probably illegal touching, isn't it? Probably illegal touching. And it is. So yeah, this isn't looking good for us. Damn, why do you step out of bounds? Illegal touching. One last Hail Mary. I don't even care if this doesn't end up working out for me. Because like I said, this is very the first season. So uh, they got... Press coverage on we have all of our third string wide receivers out here right now. Not sure why that would be. But you know what? We're gonna bomb it up to Quez Watkins. And he actually burned the corner and he went and scored. 
<laughs> Quest Walkie just gave us the freaking lead. And we're going to beat the Green Bay Packers off that. I thought for sure that was doomsday. We are done. But we won the damn game. Let's go to Divisional Weekend. So now it'll be a different animal, though. We're going up against the Dallas Cowboys. As we know, Eagles fans, you know, Washington fans, we all kind of hate each other in a way. I probably hate the Cowboys the most, in my opinion, though, just because I there some of their fans annoy the hell out of me. But regardless, uh, Eagles fans, I know you're going to want to see us beat the hell out of Cowboys here in Divisional Round. But let's see if that ends up working out for us or not. Jump right into this one. Dak Prescott and the Cowboys come out, and it looks like they put up a score field goal. Okay. And then we turn it over and allow them to go up 10 to 0. Now looking good. Jalen Hurts is not playing that great. Oh, I guess we got a safety. I didn't even notice that. But now it's 5 to 10. This is a damn hockey game, I guess. Uh, but now it's 12 to 17. So we are still in this game. Going to the third quarter, a score here 15 to 17. This is a weird score, but uh, we are still here. It's 22 24. Get a stop. Hurts can't take the lead. He does. 29 24. All right. Let's see if Hurts can do his thing out here. And 32 to 30. And the Cowboys take the lead with literally 21 seconds on the clock. Let's see if I get lucky. Can you call press coverage like uh, the Packers did for me? That would be like literally just so awesome if you could do that for me. But we have to get in field goal range. And they are going to bomb rush me. So I don't even have time to get that ball off. Should have tried to throw it up to Chris Olave. He was one-on-one. -on -one, so maybe could have had something there. But would have been really tough to get that ball off without getting hit. So they bomb rushed me that first drive. I kind of want to get Dallas Goddard here. But I also want to see if Devontae Smith can just, like, scream open. I don't know if he will. Probably not. I got Dallas Goddard, though, I believe. And, ah, needed that. Needed that very badly. So, Goddard was there. Three touchdowns, one interception. I would love to come out here and win this game for Philly. But it's not looking good, I'm not going to lie. Unless if Chris Olave or Devontae Smith can burn their man here, which is definitely possible. If they're in man coverage, which I doubt they would call man coverage at this state of the game. But I do have Dallas Goddard. And that's going to be our only timeout. So I guess that, oh, if it'll let me call it. Damn, I almost didn't call it. Okay. Probably puts us in, you know, Hail Mary territory, which I kind of figured. I want to go same play because sometimes this does get broken. Or we could go PA crossers and hope it breaks somehow as well. Which one do we want to do? I'm going to go PA crossers. Now I'm going to have to hope. Actually, yeah, we'll, we'll throw it up to Vontae Smith. I think that's our best chance. So Devontae Smith. Uh, if you could come down with it, which you are maybe there. This could be. Oh, my gosh, dude. If you could have caught that, that would have been so awesome. That would have been so freaking awesome. There was a chance. There was a chance. And only if only I had a double me wide receiver activated. Could have been there. But you know what? first playoff run, not too bad. We're, we're, we're happy with that. It sucks to lose to the Cowboys, but. We get in the offseason, we regroup a little bit, we'll be back. So this could be another big offseason, especially with the two first round picks. We could technically use that for some kind of trade, which I think I definitely will. Uh, so Fletcher Cox, Miles Sanders, Hargrave, Barnett. Honestly, I kind of want to keep the squad intact because we had a really good run there. So I'm going to go get my punter to start things off. And then I think even keeping all these guys, we should still have cast space left over. So we are in good position right now to make the team even better. Garner Minshew. I could bring him back as well as a backup quarterback. If he doesn't accept, eh, it's fine, whatever. Okay, so uh, we would be using losing our right guard in Isaac, which, I mean, he's cheap and he's a 75 overall, so I, I think I'd just rather keep him around. I mean, offense was good. I really liked how our offense was uh, really, you know, it was really awesome. So TJ Edwards, I want to bring back uh, as my middle linebacker for depth, if uh, or he's going to test free agency, which actually that might give him the option to go for somebody else instead then. Fletcher Cox, I do want to keep around. Philadelphia, you know, loves this guy, so I don't see why not. Let's try to keep him around if we can. And uh, we do not get Fletcher Cox back. Franchise tagging would cost us way too much money. So we'll have to revisit him in free agency. I do want to keep Miles Sanders after the year he had. So let's try to get Miles Sanders back, and hopefully he signs. He's back. And Hargrave, at 30 years old, I'll bring him back as well. Still 86 and had a really solid year for us. So uh, Hargrave, and he is back. W. So... Barnett, I think I'll uh, bring back as well for some depth. You never have too much depth on the D-line. So Derek Barnett, welcome to the team. And I think that'll be it. So we got pretty much everybody we wanted back. Fletcher Cox and TJ Edwards decided not to accept. So now we have free agency and we have draft picks. So um, we could definitely do a lot with those. So we got, uh, we got some options here. But looking at the lineup, so I think offense is really taken care of, really. So... Other than the right guard position, that could be better. I mean, I'm not going to worry about it too much, though. I mean, it's one weakness on the offensive line. Chris Olave ended up being a beast. And, you know, Chris Olave is a wide receiver number two here. So 
let's put him over Zach Pascal. And then Quez Watkins, you know, had a really good touchdown for us, which I love him for that. And Joan Hurts is superstar development now, which I didn't even point that out yet. So, and then we have uh, Dallas Goddard. So defensively though, we have Adam Anderson. <coughs> Excuse me, I could not talk there, but Adam Anderson at the linebacker spot. Middle linebacker is something we do need. So maybe we need to get a, like a man in the middle with our draft picks. Would like to just get Fletcher Cox back here. 100% another corner and then Anthony Harris is solid and then Daxon Hill developed into an 80 overall so um, obviously tons of cast space tons of draft capital so we have a lot of options here probably won't worry about the offense whatsoever I think the defense is going to be my full focus this offseason so nose tackle middle linebacker corner maybe even upgrading the strong safety wouldn't hurt us either so let's go take a look at what we can get in free agency with our 51 million dollars in cast space to spend here we got Terry McLaurin, uh, you know, obviously Washington better extend this man. If he is in free and see next year, I'm going to be a very, very mad fan. But Jenkins obviously would be the upgrade that would be cool um, for us. But I'm just going to roll with what we got. Jeffrey Simmons, not really necessary. We have uh, what we want on the defensive line. So I'm not going to go for anything that crazy. Or it could move in the D tackle low key. We didn't want to go back for Fletcher Cox. Um, kind of a decision we could make there. Might go for that. We'll see. We'll see what else we want to go for, though, first. Um, so, again, not really looking for uh, wide receivers. But corners, we have Bryce Callen. So, corners out here aren't great. We have James Bradbury, who is a giant. So, I guess that could be interesting. Casey Award, Bryce Callahan, Sean Murphy Bunting. So, technically, Darius Slay is our number one corner right now. Uh, but if we can get, like, a Bryce Callahan, I guess, that wouldn't hurt us too much. So, I'll go for Bryce Callahan for a few years just as another cornerback option for this team. So won't we'll mind that. And then again, basically middle linebacker was kind of our big gaping hole. So you have Bobby here, TJ Edwards. So Bobby could be the upgrade we're kind of looking for, which I kind of like the idea of that. So you know what? We're going to go for Bobby here and try to bring him as our, our middle linebacker for this team. And uh, we'll see how he does for the team. And he will be a nice addition to the team if we're able to get him. And then was there anything at cornerback we kind of addressed? Strong safety, I guess we could technically upgrade. We could go for like a Monty Hooker if we wanted to, uh, who would be an upgrade over Anthony Harris technically. So yeah, you know, why not? I'll shoot my shot on a Monty Hooker. We could definitely do that. So I'll go for a Monty Hooker, 112 total points, bring him in. And then last but not least, defensive tackle is kind of where we're looking at. And I'm honestly kind of, kind of on the bandwagon of going for Jeffrey Simmons here. If we can get Jeffrey Simmons out of free agency, for this Eagles team and move him like to nose tackle instead of Fletcher Cox. I mean, we'd be happy with that. So I got to actually reduce the contract a little bit, even a little bit more. And uh, now we still can't sign him. Okay. How about now? And no, why can I not sign him? I'm over the cap. Okay. There we go. 105 total points. Uh, the offer is better than New England, but not by much. Can I move it even up a little bit more? I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. Nope, I can't. So I'm like literally stuck at my uh, offer that I had originally. Um, unless if I cut somebody, which I think we could probably do that. So uh, Bobby, Amani Hooker, Bryce Callahan, and Jeffrey Simmons. I mean, we're barely over the Patriots. So honestly, worst case scenario, we don't get Jeffrey Simmons. We could use our picks to just trade for somebody. So not going to worry about cutting anybody. So let's see if we do get Jeffrey Simmons here. And we got all of them. Let's freaking go. So Jeffrey Simmons is now a brand new Philadelphia Eagle. Bring him into the team. And we love that, obviously. So we could put Jeffrey Simmons at nose tackle probably, or we could just keep him obviously on the edge and be happy with that either. So as well, Hassan Reddick and Jeffrey Simmons, that should wreak havoc. So we love that. And uh, we obviously kind of want, maybe we could even throw Josh Sweat in a trade. Uh, technically, he is 26 years old. And then, you know, Jeffrey Simmons, obviously uh, 26. So they're both same age. Um, Adam Anderson, so maybe, just maybe, Hear me out on this. Uh, we trade either, yeah, we can trade Josh Wett for a defensive tackle. Maybe even want, use one of our first round picks. We got a Monty Hooker as well. We could put over Anthony Harris. So I kind of like the new additions to the team. I like, I like how this is looking. And we have the option, like I said, at trading draft picks here, which I think I'm going to do. So let's do that. Let's uh let's get let's get crazy here. We could technically just have DJ Dale step up here if we wanted to, but I don't know. I kind of would. I, I kind of wouldn't mind getting a defensive tackle because we have Javon Hargrave. 
Um, but yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Unless if we have a high draft pick and we get like Breezy in the draft, however you say his name. Let me see what our draft pick situation is. Because if the Saints sucked, I don't know if they did or not. Like we have an option of just 10, pick number 10. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be there for him. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and try to make a trade. I'm going to try to make some kind of trade to make this team better. We don't have a ton of money though after all that. So maybe this won't be that possible, but um, we'll see what we can find. If not, we'll probably just head into the draft. So we decided not to make any trade. Instead, we're going to jump into the draft and just make our upgrades here. So I kind of want to like walk away with a guard and an outside linebacker in this draft. Did Will Anderson fall this far? Probably not, right? So we have Smalls on the board. Uh, we have a guard, which I, again, I do wouldn't mind getting a guard. You got Robinson, who I know is a stud. Eli Ricks, Tate. I mean, there's a lot. Amar Spates, which would be awesome. Demon Clowney. Keely, if we wanted a corner, Marcus Dumerville. So there's a lot of good options here. But I think I might go ahead and take... Uh, I might take a guard with my pick overall, number 10. So Tate, Rhett, Ratledge. I mean, I know he's not hidden development, though, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Usually, I, have to, I think I've taken him before. But he's really good. So we're going to take Tate Ratledge because we do need a right guard in the future. So I kind of like that selection for us. We'll take that and be happy with the, about that. And pick number 25... Maybe just maybe we experiment with trading this pick for an outside linebacker, but you also have BJ Ojolari. Not really a scheme fit though. Robinson, uh, who fell to this far, which kind of makes me want to just take him. You also have Jalen Catalan at strong safety, who I know is a stud as well. Diggs. I mean, there's a lot of good picks here though. A lot of good picks. I kind of am like looking at Jalen here at Arkansas at strong safety. I know I have so many strong safeties right now. I could just roll with Adam Anderson this year. And if I have all that depth at strong safety, I could also even take Robinson here with this pick. But we like Miles Sanders, so I don't think we can take a running back this high. BJ Ojolari. You know what? I am going to go ahead and take the strong safety. Now, this is kind of obviously something we don't necessarily need. But the fact that he isn't even here right now, I feel like I got to take him. You know, it looks like Dwayne Haskins in the game. But he is an absolute freaking stud. So welcome to the Eagles. Just another guy we could pile on top. Anthony Harris will be walking. Never have enough safeties. We won't be bringing back Anthony Harris, which might make Anthony Harris more expendable cutting wise or whatever you want to do there. Chris Bogle, Jordan Birch, Miles Murphy, Alfred Collins. But uh, I'm looking at this selection right here. And this is maybe just maybe where I capitalize trading a second round pick for maybe a linebacker that would fit in the scheme a little bit more just to further solidify the defense even further. I'm trading my third round pick for Pete Warner from the New Orleans Saints in order to give myself that linebacker I'm looking for. So we didn't even trade our second round pick here. So we can just go ahead and draft something here as well. Kind of regret not taking the running back in a way, but it is what it is. So we have Drew Sanders, Jordan Birch. So I literally just might add to this D line. I might just add. So we got Miles Murphy, Jordan Birch out of South Carolina. And I think I'm going to take Jordan Birch here. He has normal development, but I'm happy with that selection. We traded our third round pick. Now we can walk away out of this draft feeling pretty good about this defense and about this team up uh, in this upcoming season. So this is the team going into season number two. I mean, obviously a really good looking team. Miles Sanders, Boston Scott, Devontae Smith, Zach Pascal. Offense really hasn't changed all that much. We did take Tate Ravage with our 10th overall pick. He ended up not being that good. But defensively, um, we got Catalan sitting behind both these guys. And I just, I mean, I feel like I got to put Jalen here. So we got a young safety duo. Uh, so I'm going to put Jalen over, uh, obviously this actually, like I said, this could make Anthony Harris more expendable. We save about $3 million. I believe he's a free agent anyway. So might as well just stick, you know, keep him around. So we got Bryce Callahan as well. Jeffrey Simmons and Hargrave and then Josh Wett, Hassan Reddick, Barnett, and got Birch in the draft. We got Bobby in free agency. Kazir wise, superstar Devin, Pete Warner and Adam Anderson. So yeah, I'm feeling really good about this team. I mean, I think there's uh, a chance this team could be a playoff team. I mean, we should be there again. And uh, we should be a Super Bowl contender is kind of what I meant to say, actually. But uh, we're going to see what happens. Jalen Hurts you know, leads to the promised land and uh, hopefully find a way to get back to the playoffs. So at the end of the season, this team ended up going 12 and 5, rightfully so. I mean, this team was good last year and we added pieces of defense. Offense was still really good. So not too surprised whatsoever about the development of this Eagles roster. So we could jump into this game going up against the Green Bay Packers again as we won a walk off win last time. 12 and 5, they're 9 and 8. So if we lose to the Packers this time around, I'm going to be pretty upset. I'm not going to lie. But offense was 10th in the NFL. Defense, let's see, was hopefully like top five. Yes, let's go. Second in the NFL. So Jalen Hurts, another really good year from him. Got John Walford as the backup. 34 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 67% completion rating. Miles Sanders with 13 touchdowns, 1,000 yards. Jalen Hurts, 300 yards. 
Receiving wise, Chris Olave, eight touchdowns and a thousand. And then you had 900 from Smith, uh, 900 from Pascal, and 300 from uh, Miles Sanders. So very good seasons out of all of our receivers. And defensively, uh, we brought Jeffrey Simmons in. He had 11 and a half sacks. Reddick had 11 and three and a half from Birch, who we got out of the draft. Sweat with three, one from Bobby, one from Avante Max, one from uh, uh, Barnett, meant to say. And then interceptions wise, five from Jalen, who we got out of the draft. So he ended up being pretty damn good. Uh, I know I didn't really need a strong safety, but he just seemed like the best pick available there. Darius Slay, and you got Vontae Maddox, two from Callahan, uh, two from Dax Dental, one from Bobby, one from Kazir White, and one from Amani Hooker also played a little bit there. Uh, so, you know, defense was really good. So hopefully that, you know, translate to the play translates to the playoff game. So uh, we're playing Green Bay again. We beat them last time, same place, you know, same result. Hopefully it should have happened here. So it's Aaron Rodgers and the Packers again, right? I mean, we beat this team last year. Obviously, I had to jump in to make it happen. So hopefully this time, I don't have to jump in. Jalen Hurts take care, takes care of business. We beat the Packers. We're on the next round, back where we were before. So hopefully that's the case. We can never be too sure with this game as the Packers start off with the football. They get a field goal to start things off, and we get a touchdown, 7-3. to three. Defense needs to step up, and they do not. It is 7-10. to 10. We kick a field goal. We get an interception. Now it's 14-10. to 10. 21 to 10 would look great here, but it does not happen. And now it can. Nope. And we're going to allow the Packers to be uh, down one. Now get the ball starting at half. And of course, we don't get anything with it. Give Green Bay the ball back again. And now we're up 21 to 13. Packers going to respond. They do miss the extra or the miss the two point conversion. But now they're up 21 to 26. Now we're up 29 26. We get the ball back again. 35 26. And that should be all she wrote here. 36 to 33 win for us here in Lambeau Field. So same place as last time we went again. This time I didn't have to jump in, thankfully. Very close game, but we're on divisional round. Damn, we are dirty out here, bro. We are dirty, but we're on divisional round. Let's see if it's the Dallas Cowboys again, maybe, and maybe get some revenge this time. Are we sure I didn't just like restart the season and just like play the same playoffs? Because again, it is literally the same bracket almost. So I mean, at least for our standpoint, we're playing, we played the Packers. Now we're playing the Cowboys and Obviously, in Lambeau, it's at AT&T Stadium again. So, we'll see what happens, bro. Last time, we were very close to beating this team. I feel like we've gotten even better. I'm sure the Cowboys have probably gotten better as well. They did have a better record than us. So, we'll see what happens there. Jump right into this game. This time, we should be able to get revenge. Starting off with a touchdown would just be fantastic. And, of course, it's not going to happen. But we do get a stop as we recover a fumble. Uh, but we are going to respawn and get a touchdown to tie the game up. Get good field position. Interception from the Cowboys. And now it, oh, we were literally in the red zone. What happened there, man? Jalen Hurts, get a touchdown, please, bro. Ah, we're going to lose the Cowboys again. Is it really going to happen, Jalen Hurts? You can't lose this team twice. It won't happen. Ah, oh, it sucks. 14 to 24. Get the ball back 21 24. 17 20. Oh, I would have loved an opportunity to jump into this game. Ah, that sucks. That sucks so bad. All right. I'm going to run it back one more time. I'm going to run this team back one more time. Same team. Not going to change much. I feel like. If we get another year of just a... Why are you happy? We just lost a damn game. Nobody celebrates like that after losing a playoff game, bro. I don't care. Madden needs to fix that animation. It's so stupid. Or that cutscene, whatever you want to call it. But I'm going to run it back one more time. I feel like one more chance under a belt would give us what we need to be. One more year developing. We should be a contender. So a little bit of an update here. We actually just lost a couple of good pieces for this team. I'm literally negative $34 million in cap space. I guess I didn't really consider Jalen Hurts was going to have to be, you know, be paid soon, which I thought I wouldn't have to do that yet, but it is what it is. Uh, so we lost Fletcher Cox, or not, not Fletcher Cox. We lost Jason Kelsey. We also lost Hassan Reddick, but thankfully we do have some guys that could potentially replace them. And we also lost Javon Hargrave. So uh, this is the team right now. As it said, so this is what it's going to look like. We literally have no way of getting better. Our cornerbacks suck. We lost Darius Slay as well. So, yeah, it's not great, but we're not. We really don't have a way of getting better here. So we're just going to have to hope this is just good enough, I guess. Uh, we'll see what happens, but we're going to jump into this next season after losing all those guys. Uh, we're probably going to move Isaiah to center. I believe that's what his name is. Isaac, I should say. So probably going to have to move Isaac to center to replace uh, Jason Kelsey. Then Tate, who we drafted in the last draft, is going to have to just come in and obviously be the guy there. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is. We're going to jump into this next season. I'm not even going to worry about the draft this year. So, this is the offensive line now. It definitely got worse. But, again, no way of really getting better. And this is going to be the defense. And uh, corners aren't great. 
Uh, but we're just going to have to hope they're good enough. We're literally negative $33 million in cash space. So yeah, we're just going to go into this next season and see what happens. And of course, to end off the video, since we just lost so much, as much as we did, we go 4-13 to end off the year. So uh, not good, obviously. Uh, I would have... Uh, you know, obviously that is not really what we wanted to see, but you know what? It was fun regardless. I think we had a couple of chances of uh, getting into the NFC Championship there, but we never really could capitalize. Offense was so much worse uh, with losing some of the offense flying help, I guess. Uh, Smith, Olave, still a thousand yard wide or thousand yard wide receivers, but uh, losing Reddick and then uh, Barnett and then Jeffrey Simmons didn't do too much. So, yeah, quite a disappointing year, but I kind of expected that with our cap situation and being so bad. They didn't really take into account I had Jalen Hurts extension coming up. Probably shouldn't have signed Jeffrey Simmons like I did, but it's all good. I think my window was that year, that second year there, but it just it didn't happen. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. We will be back with a Saints rebuild hopefully tomorrow. Hopefully we have a uh, clarification whether Tyron Matthew will be signed with the New Orleans Saints or not. That we can do a Matthew Saints rebuild. That'd be a lot of fun. Uh, but regardless, thank you for watching. This is Crushables. I'm saying... Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you click here to watch another video that I know you'll love.